Este es Ron con internet computers that come out video para ti. Oye, I gotta make this video quickly. Can't talk too much because I'm about to go outside and receive some vitamin D. I received a question via one of my blog posts on my website, anetcomputers.com, pertaining to an error they are receiving when trying to install a Microsoft security update, Microsoft patch. The update is not applicable to your computer, so it looks like perhaps my planned funneling of traffic away from YouTube to my blog is working, but I can always track that via Ostats, or I could just be narcissistic and selfish and self absorbed like most of the haters that used to comment on my videos, which all my videos have all my all comments disabled. Leave your question via the link in this video description. Microsoft Patch. Okay, so the only time that I recall receiving, receiving this error is when trying to manually install Microsoft updates. And then I think a second, maybe, I think, yeah, I think a second time I've seen this error or this message is when I tried to install an update that was already installed. Other than that, I've never seen this message or error. That doesn't mean it doesn't exist. The update is not applicable to your computer. Number one, I would say not being condescending, but make sure that I'm assuming this person is trying to manually install these updates because I've never seen this message or error except for when trying to install Windows updates manually. But I guess according to Microsoft, you may see this message in other instances. Maybe they are trying to use Windows updates. But make sure that you're, if you're trying to install these updates manually by downloading them from the Microsoft Update Catalog or from one of my blog posts that I link directly to Microsoft to because that's how I roll. You must verify the architecture of your computer. You cannot install an X64 64-bit patch on a computer with a central processing unit that is a 32-bit x86 architecture. It's impossible and vice versa. You cannot, cannot install an x86 32-bit Microsoft patch, Windows updates on any operating system Microsoft has developed for 32-bit on a central processing unit architecture of x64 64-bit. It's impossible that will cause that error message to display or that message that's where I've noticed it and then also I think another thing you can check is make sure that you do not have that update already installed so let me demonstrate real quickly what I'm talking about or here's a way you can verify if you do not know your computer hardware architecture here's a quick way I would say all the way back to Windows XP at least Windows XP Vista 7810 8.1 Go into the display in control panel, but Microsoft took away the control panel. I have no idea why. They, I just, whatever. I don't care about Halloween. Control panel. Go into system properties. This is the old school control panel. Windows 10 has two control panels. They have two menus. They do not use logic anymore. Once upon a time, in my opinion, they did. They do not now. Why would you build an operating system with two different control panels and two different menu options? What, to fucking confuse the fuck out of you? Select system. This takes you to, the, oops. Let's, let's start over again. Quickly, muy rapido, I gotta, I gotta run. I gotta go outside. Control panel, Windows 10, Windows 8.1, Windows 8, Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows XP, go to the control panel. Go to system. In here, it tells you under system type, 64-bit operating system, x64 based processor. That's how quickly you can find that information out. So then you, you download the correct knowledge base patch 
in the correct architecture format, which would be x64. If I downloaded a 32-bit knowledge base patch, it would not install. I would receive that message. Not suitable for this computer because Aaron's a moron, according to my critics and the haters. But I don't have to worry about that anymore because I disabled comments on all my videos forever. But I think my traffic funneling is working. Leave your questions via the link in the description box of this video. So that's a quick way. Once you know what your architecture is, then download the applicable appropriate knowledge base patch. Another thing I can show you is go into control panel and go into the system oh they just windows windows update here let's I think I can search windows update go into view installed updates you can view the installed updates all the way back probably to Windows 95 or Windows 2000 or blah 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 but you know Windows XP Vista 78 8.1.10 make sure verify whether or not you have this update already installed it might be already installed and you're trying to install an update that already exists that might be another reason why you're receiving that not applicable or the update is not applicable to your computer. So that's the end of my demonstration portion of this video. Okay, now let's go into the, I think, two or three other potential reasons why you're seeing this error or message, if you want to call it that. It's, a, it's an error, but you know, Americans, most Americans are politically correct. They probably all are we're always that way but I've noticed it in 2017 it's getting worse and worse the world order everything is politically correct everybody is hypersensitive to you know for the things that race relations bigotry misogyny rape yes I shouldn't even said the word rape because I may not get this video monetized now and I'm not making that up okay so here is the question hello in my PC, this update gives me an error. This update is not applicable in your computer. How to fix it? This comes from Abdullah. And then because of privacy, I never divulge a person's last name, even on YouTube, because it, it could be their real last name. Although a lot of YouTubers use silly avatar names, cartoon names, made up names, central intelligence agency names, you know, emissary names or that could be their real last name I care about your privacy but I don't think Microsoft Google and Facebook do you know what I'm saying I don't think the National Spy Agency cares about your privacy because if they did why are they spying on you which is a known fact that the National Spy Agency also known as the National Security Agency spies on Americans that's a fact all right, so Microsoft claims you may receive this message in other instances. Let's go over those really quickly. If the update is already installed, number one. Number two, I already went over architecture. Make sure you're installing a knowledge base patch for the correct architecture, 64-bit for 64-bit, x86, 32-bit for x86, 32-bit patches. you might be missing a prerequisite update what that means is you know hence the the root word pre some updates require a prerequisite so if you did not install the prerequisite which means an earlier update so the the update that you're trying to install might require an earlier update if that earlier update is not installed you may receive this message so you would have to trace back and try to find prerequisites. You could Google. You could type in, let's use this. Ex do I have an exit? Yeah. You could type in knowledge base 402-2405 into Google and then space prerequisite to try to find if there are any earlier Microsoft patches required for that patch to get installed. And then number four is similar to prerequisite, but 
it's not. It's kind of similar. My, I'm not sure when Microsoft started designing their updates this way. Sometimes what happens is an older update gets not gets replaced. An older update will get replaced with a newer update. And then what happens is that install instead of installing that older update, it will install the newer update that replaced the older one. So what could cause this message the update is not applicable to your computer as you're trying to install an older update that's already been replaced. And it will not allow the older update to, to get installed. You'd ha you'd, again, you'd have to Google it and try to f trace back and try to find the, n the new update that replaced the older one. That Not all Microsoft updates are the same. Not all of them require prerequisites. Not all of them replace older updates. I'm not sure when they started you know replacing older updates but they do they the reason why I know that is because I make videos about every Microsoft update now even on Windows 7 and I notice in the abstract context at the bottom in the you know bulletins they'll write out a statement this update replaces knowledge base number 401 17 65 I just that's just, that's an arbitrary knowledge base and I was like oh oh well when did Microsoft start doing that so that's where you might see that error you went back and you tried to install knowledge base 407 1765 well knowledge base number 404 1766 replaced 4077 you know what I'm saying you know what I'm trying to get at the newer update replaces the older one. If you go back and download the older one from the Microsoft Update Catalog, it won't install. You'll get this message, and then you'll you install the newer one. Maybe I don't know why that is. Save disk. I'm trying to. I don't know. I'd have to look into that. Hopefully, this answers some of your questions or helps you get these updates installed, pertaining to this. The update is not applicable to your computer for your Microsoft patch. When it comes to Windows updates, it can turn into a nightmare. It, it really can. And I, I mean, I could literally make a 20-hour video discussing Microsoft updates, Microsoft patches, because it, oh man, sometimes the database gets corrupt. The Microsoft Security Updates database, it's a text file. It's a, there's a text file, the distribution something called distribution folder and or the or the windows registry will get fucked up i mean it can turn into a nightmare i'm not going to talk about that but hopefully these are a few tips and just learning what this all means trying to troubleshoot you know what i'm saying but when it comes to oh if if your knowledge if the database gets corrupt oh man oh man but according to microsoft these are the, what, four main reasons why you might receive that message. Adios.